Sapphire Sapphire is a gemstone variety of the mineral corundum, an aluminium oxide. Trace amounts of other elements such as iron, titanium, chromium, copper, or magnesium can give corundum blue, yellow, purple, orange, or a greenish color. Chromium impurities in corundum yield a pink or red tint, the latter being called a ruby. Commonly, sapphires are worn in jewelry. Sapphires may be found naturally, by searching through certain sediments, due to their resistance to being eroded compared to softer stones, or rock formations. They also may be manufactured for industrial or decorative purposes in large crystal pools. Because of the remarkable hardness of sapphires, nine on the most scale, the third hardest mineral, right behind diamond at 10 and marcenite at 9.25 on the most scale, and of aluminium oxide in general, sapphires are used in some non-ornamental applications, including infrared optical components, such as in scientific instruments. High durability windows, wristwatch crystals and movement bearings, and very thin electronic wafers, which are used as the insulating substrates of very special purpose solid state electronics, especially integrated circuits and garden based LEDs. Natural Sapphires The sapphire is one of the three gem varieties of corundum, the other two being ruby, defined as corundum in a shade of red, and pad parada, a pinkish orange variety. Although blue is their most well known color, sapphires may also be colorless and they are found in many colors including shades of gray and black. The cost of natural sapphires varies depending on their color, clarity, size, cut and overall quality, as well as their geographic origin. Significant sapphire deposits are found in eastern Australia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, China, Shandong, Madagascar, East Africa, and in North America in a few locations, mostly in Montana. Sapphire and rubies are often found in the same geographic environment, but one of the gems is usually more abundant in any of the sites. Blue Sapphire Color in gemstones breaks down into three components, hue, saturation, and tone. Hue is most commonly understood as the color of the gemstone. Saturation refers to the vividness or brightness of the hue, and tone is the lightness to darkness of the hue. Blue sapphire exists in various mixtures of its primary, blue, and secondary hues, various tonal levels, shades, and at various levels of saturation, vividness. Blue sapphires are evaluated based upon the purity of their primary hue. Purple, violet, and green are the most common secondary hues found in blue sapphires. Violet and purple can contribute to the overall beauty of the color, while green is considered to be distinctly negative. Blue sapphires with up to 15% violet or purple are generally said to be of fine quality. Blue sapphires with any amount of green as a secondary hue are not considered to be fine quality. Gray is the normal saturation modifier or mask found in blue sapphires. Gray reduces the saturation or brightness of the hue, and therefore has a distinctly negative effect. The color of fine blue sapphires may be described as a vivid medium dark violet to purplish blue where the primary blue hue is at least 85% and the secondary hue no more than 15%, without the least admixture of a green secondary hue or a gray mask. The 423 carat 84.6 G, Logan Sapphire in the National Museum of Natural History, in Washington, D.C., is one of the largest faceted gem quality blue sapphires in existence. Fancy Color Sapphire Yellow and green sapphires are also commonly found. Pink sapphires deepen in color as the quantity of chromium increases. The deeper the pink color the higher their monetary value as long as the color is tending toward the red of rubies. In the United States, a minimum color saturation must be met to be called a ruby, otherwise the stone will be called a pink sapphire. Sapphires also occur in shades of orange and brown. Colorless sapphires are sometimes used as diamond substitutes in jewelry. Natural pad parada, pinkish orange, sapphires often draw higher prices than many of even the finest blue sapphires. Recently, 
more sapphires of this color have appeared on the market as a result of a new artificial treatment method that is called lattice diffusion. Pedparadia Pedparadia is a delicate light to medium tone pink orange to orange pink eucharandum, originally found in Sri Lanka, but also found in deposits in Vietnam and parts of East Africa. Pedparadia sapphires are rare. The rarest of all is the totally natural variety with no sign of artificial treatment. The name is derived from the Sanskrit Padma Ranga, Padma equals lotus. Ranga equals color, a color akin to the lotus flower, Milumbo nucifera speciosa. Star Sapphire A star sapphire is a type of sapphire that exhibits a star-like phenomenon known as asterism. Red stones are known as star rubies. Star sapphires contain intersecting needle-like inclusions following the underlying crystal structure that cause the appearance of a six-rayed star-shaped pattern when viewed with a single overhead light source. The inclusion is often the mineral ruti, a mineral composed primarily of titanium dioxide. The stones are cut in kabochan, typically with the center of the star near the top of the dome. Occasionally, twelve-rayed stars are found typically because two different sets of inclusions are found within the same stone, such as a combination of fine needles of rutile with small platelets of hematite. The first results in a whitish star and the second results in a golden-colored star. During crystallization, the two types of inclusions become preferentially oriented in different directions within the crystal, thereby forming two six-rayed stars that are superimposed upon each other to form a twelve-rayed star. Misshapen stars or twelve-rayed stars may also form as a result of twinning. The inclusions can alternatively produce a cat's eye effect if the face-up direction of the Kabokan's dome is oriented perpendicular to the crystal's C-axis rather than parallel to it. If the dome is oriented in between these two directions, an off-center star will be visible, offset away from the high point of the dome. The Black Star of Queensland, the largest gem-quality star sapphire in the world, weighs 733 carats. The Star of India, weighing 563.4 carats, is thought to be the second largest star sapphire, the largest blue, and is currently on display at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. The 182-carat Star of Bombay, located in the National Museum of Natural History, in Washington, D.C., is another example of a large blue star sapphire. The value of a star sapphire depends not only on the weight of the stone, but also the body color, visibility, and intensity of the asterism. Color Change Sapphire A rare variety of natural sapphire, known as color change sapphire, exhibits different colors in different light. Color change sapphires are blue in outdoor light and purple under incandescent indoor light, or green to gray-green in daylight and pink to reddish-violet in incandescent light. Color change sapphires come from a variety of locations, including Thailand and Tanzania. The color change effect is caused by the interaction of the sapphire, which absorbs specific wavelengths of light, and the light source, whose spectral output varies depending upon the illuminant. Transition metal impurities in the sapphire, such as chromium and vanadium, are responsible for the color change. Certain synthetic color change sapphires have a similar color change to the natural gemstone alexandrite and they are sometimes marketed as alexandrium, or synthetic alexandrite. However, the latter term is a misnomer, synthetic color change sapphires are, technically, not synthetic alexandrites but rather alexandrite simulants. This is because genuine alexandrite is a variety of trisobral, not sapphire, but an entirely different mineral. Source of color Rubies are corundum which contain chromium impurities that absorb yellow-green light and result in deeper ruby-red color with increasing content. Purple sapphires contain trace amounts of vanadium and come in a variety of shades. Corundum that contains 0.01% of titanium is colorless. If trace amounts of iron are present, a very pale yellow to green color may be seen. However, if both titanium and iron impurities are present together, and in the correct valence states, the result is a deep blue color. Unlike localized, 
intraatomic absorption of light which causes color for chromium and vanadium impurities, blue color in sapphires comes from intervalence charge transfer, which is the transfer of an electron from one transition metal ion to another via the conduction or valence band. The ion can take the form Fe2 plus or Fe3 plus, while titanium generally takes the form T4 plus. If Fe2 plus and T4 plus ions are substituted for Al3 plus, localized areas of charge imbalance are created. An electron transferred from Fe2 plus and T4 plus can cause a change in the valence state of both. Because of the valence change there is a specific change in energy for the electron, and electromagnetic energy is absorbed. The wavelength of the energy absorbed corresponds to yellow light. When this light is subtracted from incident white light, the complementary color blue results. Sometimes when atomic spacing is different in different directions there is resulting blue-green dichroism. Intervalence charge transfer is a process that produces a strong colored appearance at a low percentage of impurity. While at least 1% chromium must be present in corundum before the deep red ruby color is seen, sapphire blue is apparent with the presence of only 0.01% of titanium and iron. Treatments Sapphires may be treated by several methods to enhance and improve their clarity and color. It is common practice to heat natural sapphires to improve or enhance color. This is done by heating the sapphires in furnaces to temperatures between 500 and 1800 DEGC for several hours, or by heating in a nitrogen-deficient atmosphere oven for seven days or more. Upon heating, the stone becomes more blue in color, but loses some of the rutile inclusions, silk. When high temperatures are used, the stone loses all silk, inclusions, and it becomes clear under magnification. The inclusions in natural stones are easily seen with a jeweler's loop. Evidence of sapphire and other gemstones being subjected to heating goes back at least to Roman times. Unheated natural stones are somewhat rare and will often be sold accompanied by a certificate from an independent gemological laboratory attesting to no evidence of heat treatment. Yogo sapphires sometimes do not need heat treating because their cornflower blue coloring is uniform and deep. They are generally free of the characteristic inclusions, and they have high uniform clarity. When Intergem Limited began marketing the Yogo in the 1980s as the world's only guaranteed untreated sapphire, heat treatment was not commonly disclosed. By 1982 the heat treatment became a major issue. At that time, 95% of all the world's sapphires were being heated to enhance their natural color. Intergem's marketing of guaranteed untreated Yogo set them against many in the gem industry. This issue appeared as a front page story in the Wall Street Journal on August 29, 1984 and an article by Bill Richards, Carrots and Sticks, Sapphire Marketer Upsets the Gem Industry. Diffusion treatments are used to add impurities to the sapphire to enhance color. Typically beryllium is diffused into a sapphire under very high heat just below the melting point of the sapphire. Initially, c. 2000, orange sapphires were created, although now the process has been advanced and many colors of sapphire are often treated with beryllium. The colored layer can be removed when stones chip or are repolished or refaceted, depending on the depth of the impurity layer. Treated pad paraders may be very difficult to detect, and many stones are certified by gemological labs, for example, Gublin, SSEF, Acta. According to United States Federal Trade Commission guidelines, disclosure is required of any mode of enhancement that has a significant effect on the gem's value. There are several ways of treating sapphire. Heat treatment in a reducing or oxidizing atmosphere, but without the use of any other added impurities, is commonly used to improve the color of sapphires, and this process is sometimes known as heating only in the gem trade. In contrast, however, heat treatment combined with the deliberate addition of certain specific impurities, for example beryllium, titanium, iron, chromium or nickel, which are absorbed into the crystal structure of the sapphire, is also commonly performed, and this process can be known as diffusion in the gem trade. However, despite what the terms heating only, and diffusion might suggest, both of these categories of treatment actually involve diffusion processes.
Mining Sapphires are mined from alluvial deposits or from primary underground workings. Commercial mining locations for sapphire and ruby include, but are not limited to, the following countries, Afghanistan, Australia, Myanmar Burma, Cambodia, China, Colombia, India, Kenya, Laos, Madagascar, Malawi, Nepal, Nigeria, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Tajikistan, Tanzania, Thailand, USA, and Vietnam. Sapphires from different geographic locations may have different appearances or chemical impurity concentrations, and tend to contain different types of microscopic inclusions. Because of this, sapphires can be divided into three broad categories, classic metamorphic, non-classic metamorphic or magmatic, and classic magmatic. Sapphires from certain locations, or of certain categories, may be more commercially appealing than others, particularly classic metamorphic sapphires from Kashmir, India, Burma, or Sri Lanka that have not been subjected to heat treatment. The Logan Sapphire, the Star of India, and the Star of Bombay originate from Sri Lankan mines. Madagascar is the world leader in sapphire production, as of 2007, specifically its deposits in and around the town of Ilakaka. Prior to the opening of the Ilakaka mines, Australia was the largest producer of sapphires, such as in 1987. In 1991 a new source of sapphires was discovered in Andranondambo, southern Madagascar. That area has been exploited for its sapphires started in 1993, but it was practically abandoned just a few years later, because of the difficulties in recovering sapphires in their bedrock. In North America, sapphires have been mined mostly from deposits in Montana, fancies along the Missouri River near Helena, Montana, Dry Cottonwood Creek near Mysola, Montana, and Rock Creek near Phillipsburg, Montana. Fine blue Yogo sapphires are found at Yogo Gulch west of Wistown, Montana. A few gem-grade sapphires and rubies have also been found in the area of Franklin, North Carolina. The sapphire deposits of Kashmir are still well known in the gem industry, despite the fact that the peak production from this area mostly took place in a relatively short period at the end of the 19th and early 20th centuries. At present, the world record price per carat for sapphire at auction was achieved by a sapphire from Kashmir in a ring, which sold for $180,731 per carat, more than $5 million in total, including buyer's premium, in April 2014. Synthetic Sapphire In 1902 the French chemist Auguste Vernal developed a process for producing synthetic sapphire crystals. In the Vernal process, named for him, fine alumina powder is added to an oxhydrogen flame, and this is directed downward against a mantle. The alumina in the flame is slowly deposited, creating a teardrop-shaped pool of sapphire material. Chemical dopants can be added to create artificial versions of the ruby, and all the other natural colors of sapphire, and in addition, other colors never seen in geological samples. Artificial sapphire material is identical to natural sapphire, except it can be made without the flaws that are found in natural stones. The disadvantage of vernal process is that the grown crystals have high internal strains. Many methods of manufacturing sapphire today are variations of the Chsokralski process, which was invented in 1916. In this process a tiny sapphire seed crystal is dipped into a crucible made of the precious metal iridium or molybdenum, containing molten alumina, and then slowly withdrawn upward at a rate of 1 to 100 mm per hour. The alumina crystallizes on the end, creating long carrot-shaped bulls of large size up to 200 kg in mass. Synthetic sapphire is industrially produced from agglomerated aluminium oxide, sintered and fused in an inert atmosphere, hot isostatic pressing for example, yielding a transparent polycrystalline product, slightly porous, or with more traditional methods such as Vernal, Chsokralski, Flux method, etc yielding a single crystal sapphire material which is non-porous and should be relieved of its internal stress. In 2003 the world's production of synthetic sapphire was 250 tons, 1.25 x 109 carats, mostly by the United States and Russia. 
the availability of cheap synthetic sapphire unlocked many industrial uses for this unique material. The first laser was made with a rod of synthetic ruby. Titanium sapphire lasers are popular due to their relatively rare capacity to be tuned to various wavelengths in the red and near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. They can also be easily mode-locked. In these lasers a synthetically produced sapphire crystal with chromium or titanium impurities is irradiated with intense light from a special lamp, or another laser, to create stimulated emission. Transparency and Hardness One application of synthetic sapphire is sapphire glass. Here glass is a layman term which refers not to the amorphous state, but to the transparency. Sapphire is not only highly transparent to wavelengths of light between 150 nanometers, UV, and 5500 nanometers, IR, the human eye can discern wavelengths from about 380 nanometers to 750 nanometers, but is also extraordinarily scratch resistant. Sapphire has a value of 9 on the most scale of mineral hardness. Common applications Along with zirconia and aluminium oxynitride, synthetic sapphire is used for shatter-resistant windows in armored vehicles and various military body armor suits, in association with composites. A common use of synthetic sapphire is in sapphire optical windows. The key benefits of sapphire windows are Very wide optical transmission band from UV to near-infrared, 0.15-5.5 um significantly stronger than other optical materials or standard glass windows, highly resistant to scratching and abrasion, 9 most scale, the hardest natural substance next to moissanite, extremely high melting temperature, 2030 DEGC. Sapphire glass windows, although being crystalline, are made from pure sapphire boules that have been grown in an application-specific crystal orientation, typically along the optical axis, the C-axis for standard optical windows for minimum bar refringence. The bulls are sliced up into the desired window thickness and finally polished to the desired surface finish. Sapphire optical windows can be polished to a wide range of surface finishes due to its crystal structure and its hardness. The surface finishes of optical windows are normally called out by the scratch dig specifications in accordance with the globally adopted MIL 013830 specification. Sapphire glass windows are used in high-pressure chambers for spectroscopy, crystals in various watches, and windows in grocery store barcode scanners since the material's exceptional hardness and toughness makes it very resistant to scratching. It is used for end windows on some high-powered laser tubes as its wideband transparency and thermal conductivity allow it to handle very high power densities in the infrared or UV spectrum without degrading due to heating. One type of xenon arc lamp, originally called the Somax its first brand name, which is now known generically as the ceramic body xenon lamp, uses sapphire crystal output windows that tolerate higher thermal loads, and thus higher output powers when compared with conventional XE lamps with pure silica window. Uses substrate for semiconducting to circuits. Thin sapphire wafers also are used as an insulating substrate in high power high-frequency CMOS integrated circuits. This type of IC is called a silicon on sapphire or SOS chip. These are especially useful for high-power radio frequency RF, applications such as those found in cellular telephones, police car and fire truck radios, and satellite communication systems. SOS allows for the monolithic integration of both digital and analog circuitry all on one IC chip. The porcelainium substrate is built on a sapphire base and then glazed with a layer of synthetic diamond. Porcelainium permits the creation of multi-layered epitaxes for emerging applications like monolithic electronic systems built for applications like defense and space. At least one company has announced a single-block monolithic smartphone created by integrating the touch screen, display, processor, memory multi and RF chipset and battery onto the porcelainium substrate. This process eliminates the need for conventional electromechanical assembly that is carried out for smartphones today. The reason for choosing wafers of artificial sapphire, rather than some other substance, 
for these substrates is that sapphire has a quite low conductivity for electricity, but a much higher conductivity for heat. Thus, sapphire provides good electrical insulation, while at the same time doing a good job at helping to conduct away the significant heat that is generated in all operating integrated circuits. Once the single crystal sapphire boules are grown they are called sliced into cylindrical pieces. Wafers are then sliced from these cylindrical cores. These wafers of single crystal sapphire material are also used in the semiconductor industry as a non-conducting substrate for the growth of devices based on gallium nitride, GaN. The use of the sapphire material significantly reduces the cost, because it has about one-seventh the cost of germanium. Gallium nitride on sapphire is commonly used in blue light emitting diodes, LEDs. Historical and cultural references Etymologically, the English word sapphire derives from Latin sapphirus, sapirus from Greek sapphiros, sapphiros, from Hebrew sapia, sapa, from Old Iranian sani prijam, from Sanskrit, shani priya, shnipriai, from shani, shni, meaning satin, and priya, priai, dear, that is literally dear to satin. The Greek term for sapphire quite likely was instead used to refer to lapis lazuli. During the medieval ages, European lapidaris came to refer to blue corundum crystal by its sapphire blue color, whence came the modern name for sapphire. The sapphire is the traditional gift for a 45th and 65th wedding anniversary. The sapphire is the birthstone of September.